It was only 10 months after moving to Australia that I first met Rob. And through him, I felt a love I had never experienced before. Genuine, unconditional love of the pure soul that I was blessed to marry. Shortly after, we were blessed with two gorgeous boys and gentlemen in the making. You know, before I met Rob, I faced a few very significant turning points in my life. And with him, everything seemed to turn into ease and happiness. My career took me from advertising to coaching, a journey into self-development that was rewarding on so many levels. The biggest turning point cut right through my heart. No pre-warning, Rob passed away on a business trip like somebody had just unplugged him from our lives. I had not realized that leading up to this very moment, my life was kind of preparing me not only to cope with losing Rob, it was actually paving the way for a future that was even bigger than the two of us. This journey is filled with love, hope, empowerment, and inspiration. Rob and I were that couple. People admired our relationship from a distance so much so that after Rob passed, I was inundated with people offering me their support. And then friends and family told me how they were blown away by my strength and my willingness to focus on love and happiness at a time of life's biggest adversity. I was often challenged in my state of grief why I was so happy. It was at this time I realized I had a very special gift that I want to share with the whole world. Loving Life After Loss is all about holding space. I want to strip back the layers around this old-fashioned stigma of grief, ditch that guilt, and allow yourself to invite happiness back into your life bit by bit. Every journey of grief is different. I watched my grandmother die in her house when I was only 12. My dad passed away from cancer when I was 20. A very young friend of ours died when we were only 30. And then Rob passed at 45. Grief has many different faces. I'm not here to compare. The concept of two choices has had a huge impact on my life. I choose love over bitterness and happiness over sadness. It has become my expertise, my only way of life. My heart is wide open. What's your take now? Stay where you are, watch from the sidelines, or dive right in. The choice is yours. Come on in.